In this tutorial module, we'll cover how you can leverage just-in-time provisioning, otherwise known as JIT, to automatically provision your JumpCloud users to SAML applications. On JumpCloud's website, you can see which applications JumpCloud currently supports along with the applications currently supporting the JIT protocol. In our demonstration, we'll be taking a look at AHA.io and how we can provision new users from my demo JumpCloud organization to this application. In order for JIT to work, you'll have to have created the SAML connector already. If you haven't done so, pause here and go through our tutorial module and knowledge base articles on creating the SSO connector within JumpCloud's admin portal. Logging into my JumpCloud admin portal and navigating to the Applications menu, I've already configured AHA.io as an application. In this case, JIT is also available for this connector. You can customize user provisioning with custom user added attributes as well, entirely depending on the application and what attributes they support or require. In my use case, I've added two custom attributes, the product role and the product prefix, which allow me to provision new users to AHA automatically with specific permissions and access. Taking a look at my test user, Sarah Fay, she's a part of the development and engineering user group in JumpCloud. This user group has access to AHA along with some other developer applications. Under the custom attributes tab, we can also see that I've added her to the contributor rights to a specific project in AHA. Again, these attributes will be different depending on your configurations and or applications in use. Jumping over to my admin portal in AHA's dashboard, I can see a list of the current users. Currently, myself and Bob Fay are the only users in AHA at the moment. When Sarah first accesses AHA or any other JIT application that's been enabled for her account, her account will automatically be created and given the roles, access, and permissions I've configured for her. In this use case, she's a contributor to my AHA test project of SAML. Taking a look back at my admin dashboard in AHA, I can see that her account has now been automatically created and assigned the appropriate permissions. This is just one example of how JIT and SAML can be leveraged to ensure that your users have privileges and accounts for the applications they need access to in order to make work happen.